Hey everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I hope you guys are staying safe and well. How are you? Um, we've got the rule of six outside now in the UK. So I hope you guys have been able to see some of your friends and family this week. Um, I know we have planned to see some of our friends on Friday, which will be so nice because we've not really seen anybody for what feels like absolutely ages now. Um, also, I'm having a good hair day today. I feel like my front, like, fringy curtain bits are growing and with the Dyson Air app, I love it. I've been able to, like, really give myself proper curtains now and... Yeah, so nice. So I used the 30 millimeter barrel today, the tight one. And um, yeah, this is how it's come out. And honestly, I love it. I'm also getting used to my new like gray kind of silver hair, which is fab, still loving it. Um, I'm actually waiting for a hair dye delivery so then I can switch up my color. I'm still deciding on what colour to go next but I've got a rough idea um anyway I've been filming all morning and I need to edit now so I'm at my desk and I'm gonna spend the afternoon editing which is gutting because the weather is so friggin nice outside Robin's busy working in the garden sorting out all my weeds he's done this side already which looks great i don't know whether you guys can actually see because the sun is so blinding he's taken off all the rocks they are so filthy i mean i didn't even think that they'd go like green um but i've got some cleaner for them coming this week we've left some plants in there that survived it is such a nice day today isn't it big boys a lovely day yeah um so yeah, so Robin's cleared out all the weeds. We've left, I think there's four plants that survived. Basically, we didn't realize that by putting the fence up last summer that it would cause shade on that side of the garden. And obviously next door's um, trees and everything are quite tall. And yeah, we just didn't really think that it was gonna be in the shade. Because when it used to be the short, low brick wall that we had, which is behind the fence, that side of the garden got sun. So basically, it's just tr trying to find plants that like the shade. And the ones that we've got left in there have lasted a whole year and have been absolutely fine throughout winter and everything. So we're gonna go and buy those same ones again, but just scatter them in that plant bed on that side but yeah so robin is doing the garden this week which is great because it means it's you know ready for when we have our friends round because obviously we're going to be starting to use the garden now robin's been hard at work again in the garden so all the stones have been taken off these side bits here we're having a little trouble cleaning them though like they're still quite dirty i bought some cleaner but obviously it's so hard I don't want to clean every individual one because it would literally take us days. So at the moment, Robin's just got the hose and he's hosing off all the mud. They look all right, to be fair. Yeah, they look fine. Yeah. So this is the membrane that we got from B&Q. Just verve. It's one meter by 10 meters garden weed control fabric. So I'm going to lay that now. I'm going to focus on this plant bed here first. So yeah, wish me luck. We've made progress. It's looking good. I've ran out of the membrane little sticks that you put in. So I've had to use our stones to weigh down the membrane for now because I think we're finishing up for the day now. Um, but yeah, this whole side has now got the membrane on it and we just need to put topsoil on and then the stones. Oh, cannot believe how hot it is outside today. Robin, you did a good job. Um, I'm really liking my hair today, super cute. Filmed a tutorial for my Instagram and it's already up if you wanna know how to do this hairstyle. Um, God, it's so hot, I need to change. Um, we're just gonna chill for a bit, I need to do some emails. And um, yeah, then I feel like we should go out and enjoy the sunshine instead of working in it. I'm in the hot tub again, guys. Thought I would treat myself to an hour in the sun 
I'm going to do some emails from the hot tub because why not? It's better to be outside than inside right now because I feel like this weather is not going to last long and um, yeah, I mean, I think it's raining at the weekend so I feel like I need to utilise this weather. Also, how cute are these sunnies? These were kindly gifted to me from Key. They've got some really cute new ones out. I love the little diamantes around the edge. So cute. I will link them below if you want to check them out or treat yourself to these. Um, but yeah, just gonna chill. I think Robin's inside. I think he's had enough of the sun. He's been out here longer than me today. But yeah, when I get locked away in my studio, and you know I've got a blackout blind I don't see the sun and even though I mean I helped Robin for like an hour earlier I just feel like I just want to be in the sun it just makes me so much happier and um, yeah it's not even summer but I feel like it's summer right now and it's just so nice guys I am so tired like oh, oh, oh. I've been working all day today it's eight o'clock at night I'm still not finished. <laughs> oh, honestly, managing yourself is is tough sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. I don't want management though. But yeah, I've just taken on quite a bit of work, which is great. I'm not complaining at all. This is a good thing. Um, you know, it's amazing to be offered work and that brands are reaching out to me but I take on too much sometimes it's really difficult to say no because I'm not saying no because I don't want to do the job like I love the brand and I love the product sometimes it's just that I, I can fit it in it's just I'm really trying my hardest to put my mental health first and to not overstress myself, not get overwhelmed. I want to have downtime. Like, I don't want to push myself to the limit where I get like this every day because it's not worth it. Like, I should be having my evenings to myself and I should be relaxing and, you know, not overdoing it. But being a freelancer and doing this by yourself is so difficult to turn work down like yeah it's just hard so I kind of take it all on and then I get stressed and overwhelmed I mean to be honest with you it's been good recently I've not been like this for so long but today it's just yeah it's just one of those days where I'm just tired I'm gonna yawn again oh I've got a headache I haven't eaten dinner yet and I'm just yeah I just need to but she needs to chill, but I've still got emails to do and they need to be done. So I'm going to try and have some dinner. Just take a bit of a breather and then do some emails on the sofa or something. Somewhere in like a nice relaxing setting. Maybe like a candle or something. Um, yeah. Robin's gone off to play football with his friends. Which he can do now because of the rule of six. So he's super happy about that. He's not played for ages. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for him to come back. And then I'll cook some dinner, but yeah, I'm just, oh, just one of those days today. But I've had lots of deliveries, well, stuff that I've bought, um, a few spring bits and bobs that I want to show you, but I will show you tomorrow when I'm feeling a bit more myself. Does anyone else love Terry's Chocolate Orange? Because they've got mini egg versions. Morning, guys. So I'm just about to start filming a makeup look. But I have been seeing these viral videos on TikTok of people doing gua sha. And I actually bought one of these stone gua sha tools um, from Beauty Bay ages ago. And I just never really knew how to use it. And I've seen these videos and oh my god, the difference in people's faces after they've used these tools. So I've taken a before photo and I'm gonna try and make this part of my morning routine now for the next few weeks to see if there's a difference because it's insane seeing people's like jaw lines, their double chins, like their eyebrows have lifted. I'm doing it, I'm gonna do it. So yeah, I've taken a before picture 
I'm going to be using, um, so they always say use like a serum or an oil. So I'm going to use the Thirst Trap Juice from Wishful Skin. Okay, so, right. I've got a video in front of me. I'm going to link it below on TikTok. And it just shows you how to do it. So I'm going to do a double chin one. And then I've got um, a five minute facelift one that I want to follow as well. And yeah. We will try it out. I'm just gonna turn the volume down. So it says moisturize your skin, and then it shows you the motion that you're meant to do. You kind of do this six to nine times. Okay, I'm gonna use my oil. A little bit more. Okay, let's pop that on because it's gonna be easy for this to move on your skin okay so underneath the chin in an upward motion and repeat six to nine times two three four five six seven am i using this right i feel like i should be using it this way oh yeah should be using it that way is the longer bit underneath see i'm so new to this okay and then then she goes underneath interesting all right well i'm gonna give this a go guys let me know if you have any tips or any other videos for me to follow. Just filmed doing this Easter Bunny makeup look. It's already up if you wanna check it out. And now I'm gonna take it all off. Just got my face halo and my favorite micellar water. I hate when I take it off because I sit here and I think, did I film everything? I think I did though. I managed to remember to take a photo this time as well. Oh, all right. I'm definitely gonna have to go and wash my face in the sink with this look. Feel a bit more myself now with some normal makeup on, but I just wanted to show you a few items that I just recently bought and that came this week. Um, although I do feel like I should do like a spring youtube haul so maybe i'll just show you like two things i'll show you two things and then i think i might film a spring haul spring summer haul on youtube because yeah i feel like that might be cooler to do because i've got quite a few bits that i've bought and yeah i feel like that might be interesting to show you guys me wearing them and what they look like and how i'd style the pieces up i feel like i'm gonna do that anyway first up is this shirt which is from Lisa Says Ga. How freaking cute is this shirt? I'm loving this thick, chunky collar, the puff sleeves, the print, the colour. Like, it's so cute. I love it. Then I've been on the hunt for days, and I mean days, because I had seen some like swirly marble print green trousers on House of Sunny, they were sold out, then I saw another pair at Paloma Wall, sold out, they're coming in stock soon, but like, I was impatient, I just wanted some of these trousers, and then I saw some on Hos... Hos... Jerg? I don't know how to pronounce it, this brand here, Hosberg? Hosberg. Hosberg? I have no idea. I don't know how to pronounce it because it's a new brand that I've just recently discovered and oh my god, I love their stuff and I've got my hands on their green swirly kind of marble print trousers. I'm honestly in love with these. The material is so soft. These are great summer trousers, especially in the UK, like with a little white top or something. Oop. They're so freaking cool. I love them so much. But yeah, I feel like I might do a spring kind of trend YouTube video. Would you guys like to see that? I feel like that could be quite cool. Spring trends and some key pieces that I have 
got from some new brands I've discovered. Some of them are sustainable. Some of them are just, yeah, I mean, I'm going on a little bit here, but I feel like I'm going to film a video, a separate YouTube video for this. Like a spring on trend spring wardrobe update video. I feel like that would be good because I haven't ordered that many pieces, but the pieces I've ordered like quite key pieces that I know I can rework with lots of different outfits. Um, yeah, so super exciting and I'm going to do a bit of a wardrobe clear out as well before I get my, oh, well, the rest of my spring wardrobe bits. And if you guys don't know, I am on eBloggers. So I pop all my stuff in a bag, send it to eBloggers. And it's basically a website where you can shop influencers, content creators, bloggers, wardrobes. And it's all secondhand clothing. Um, there's even beauty products on there that are brand new. I know there's baby wear on there. Like there's so many bits on there. I've actually sent... Um, some of my old cameras, my old drones and stuff to sell on there second hand. And I have sent um, my old festival clothing. So yeah, I'm going to have a bit of a wardrobe re-sort. And yeah, to house my new spring bits. And I will donate the rest of my stuff. And it's great because um, a percentage of the sales goes to charity, which is really, really nice. So yeah, so I will pop a link to my e-bloggers below if you guys want to check it out. Oh, guys, I am absolutely shattered. Me and Robin have been cleaning our house all day. Just haven't had a chance to clean for so long. Like, properly clean. For a couple of weeks now, so we needed to do, like, a proper deep, deep clean. And it just takes hours. Honestly, when you have, like, a house with, like, two reception rooms, a utility room, a kitchen two bathrooms, like, a four bedroom, like, it's just mental. Um, I mean, I know I'm lucky, I shouldn't complain, but, yeah, cleaning, uh, you guys know I hate cleaning as well, and it's just taken so long. Uh, but, it's nice this evening because our friends are coming round in our garden, we're going to have some pizza and some drinks, and it's just going to be really nice because we've not seen our mates for so long. So yeah, I'm just finishing my makeup off. Wrapped up warm in a hoodie. Probably gonna get my coat as well because it's meant to be really cold tonight. But yeah, I'll update you guys tomorrow on how it goes. Guys, I don't actually know if I showed you this new cardigan that I recently got from House of Sunny. Honestly, like I'm just obsessed with the brand. And um, yeah, this cardigan is so cute. Look how cute the back is. Oh, I'm obsessed with it. Had a really cute evening last night with our friends. It was just so nice to kind of just catch up with them and just do something normal. Um, yeah, I feel like we just haven't done anything for so long. It was just really nice. Um, also, haven't showed you the garden. Robin has finished it off. It's pretty much there but there's a few more bits that we need to do like a little bit of cleaning and stuff but the weeds are all out and we need to put some plants in on the left hand side but let me go and show you so guys this is what this side of the garden looks like now so we've left holes to pop in more plants but obviously the plants aren't aren't in season yet so we will get them in a few months but yeah it's looking so much better already and finally this side guys what a transformation from what it looked like last week Oh, so much better. It looks great. So, so great. So pleased the garden is looking neater now and so much better. So all we need to do now is just kind of tidy up the AstroTurf. Um, it's just like lots of dead like leaves and stuff on it that have blown on it in winter. So yeah, just make it look really fresh again. And I've got some patio cleaner that I want to clean the pathway and the patio by our kitchen and the bifolds and then the pergola. So basically, um, so annoying. So I um, left everything in the pergola probably a bit too late. Like we, we left it all summer into like October, November. I was just so busy and I just didn't really get time to go out there and put it all away so and it's weird because it's out well it's outside but 
there's only one part of the pergola that is open. So I feel like with the airflow, when it's rained over winter, it, I don't know, I think it just held a lot of moisture inside the pergola and basically a lot of the things in there that we left up, like some of the macrame bits and bobs, the furniture just got mould on it. So really annoying, but basically we cleaned it all last year and we put everything inside. Some of the stuff I sadly had to bin because there was no saving it from the mould. Um, and also some of my cushions got, um, what's the word? Like they faded in the sun. So yeah, obviously ugh, I'm like so new to garden stuff. I have no idea about anything. I don't like, I just bought stuff because it looked pretty. Um, but this time around, I need to really think about how I'm going to dress the pergola. And I've bought a mold cleaner and I've also bought this special mold protecting spray that you can spray on like fabrics. So I'm going to spray it on all of the fabric and stuff um and the furniture so hopefully it, like basically i'll pop a link below i can't remember what it's called i will update you and clean the pergola with you guys in the weekly vlog anyway in the future i'm not going to do it just yet because the weather is a bit crap um it was really sunny and now it's gone really funny again so i'm going to wait till it starts getting sunny maybe like may time i reckon mid may i'll, I'll do the pergola um but yeah i've bought this special spray that basically adds like a, a like a thin kind of clear protecting layer on furniture and stuff like that and like wood to, so hopefully the mold is like the mold situation doesn't happen again uh, but also i'm going to bring everything in earlier than i did last year um but yeah it's hard work having a garden <laughs> especially when you're like not into your gardening but yeah it's looking neat enough as, like as it is now which is great because obviously you know rule of six we're gonna start having people around in the garden and i don't want it looking like a jungle oh i am quite tired today it's sunday it's easter um hopefully gonna go and see my family later today which will be really nice because i've not seen anybody in so long um but yeah just tired i need to figure out my life today i need to do my diary figure out what work I'm doing for the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, I've got no nails on right now, so I need to also do some nails. But yeah, I'm gonna sign off this vlog. Oh, God. It's just been a long weekend, oh my God. <laughs> that flicked right in the air. Robin's just filling up the hot tub and he turned the hose on and then this massive water Fire, like massive bit of water just fired across the uh, garden. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sign off the vlog here, guys. Thanks so much for watching this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's actually quite a nice day today. I might go and sit in the garden now. It's looking nice. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in another weekly vlog very, very soon. Sorry, I'm not really with it because I'm so tired. Peace out.